Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 131, all right. So our locations array doesn't have a fifth element. So uh, locations of four isn't gonna work. So now what we're gonna do is add a new object at the end of the locations array following the same structure as the other objects. We're gonna set name to kill monster, set uh, the button text to an array with go to town square three times, and then uh, button functions to go town three times. And then we're gonna set the text to the monster screams arg as it dies, you gain experience points and find gold. All right. So let's do that. Let's take uh, from 66 up to right after the curly brace on 60, including the comma. Uh, let's take that, drop it off after the end of 66. And then let's change this stuff up to this one will be kill monster, kill monster. Uh, this stuff's going to be go to town square. So let's take go to town square here. Copy that and then drop it off one, two, three times. All right, let's take go town here, drop it off one, two times. And then we're gonna say the monster screams arg. So we'll get this, let's just uh, change all of it, why not? So the monster screams arg as it dies, hopefully that's what it said. Uh, and then you gain experience points and find gold, right? So you gain experience points and find gold, uh, period, like that. All right, so that should take care of it. Uh, let's check the code, looks good. And actually let's go check out what happens. So let's go to this cave. Let's uh, fight the slime, attack, attack, attack. Okay, well it does that. We still need to do something to where it says uh, oh, well, it does to where it says zero instead of negative three, but we can go to town square instead of attacking more. Also, we got to change this stuff. But anyway, we'll figure all that stuff later and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 32, pardon me, 132, and we'll see you next time.